Welcome to another I2R Tech Lighting Solutions tutorial video. In this video, we'll talk about the show making section of the Moving Head Controller 2.0. I'll describe what we call a step, a hot cue, a chase, and a show. A step is created when the current state of the controller is saved by pushing down on one of the nine chase buttons for three seconds. A step will remember all the settings for all the lights that were on at the time of creation. Settings such as the lights aiming direction and all the lights functions according to the slider settings. Things like color, gobo, zoom, etc. A chase is a sequence of saves steps in one of the nine available buttons. A step can be added to one of the nine chases in real time by just pushing down on the corresponding button for three seconds. The added step will remember all the settings for all the lights that were on right there. There is room in the internal memory for a total of 128 steps for all nine chases. When a step is added to a chase, there are two parameters that are automatically inserted into the chase, standby time and transition time. The standby time is the time in seconds that a step stays put before the chase moves to the next step. The transition time is the time in seconds that it takes to go from one step to the next one, like the speed of change. The times are automatically inserted as per their default settings, but they can be post-edited for each step to get the desired results. A show is just the end result, when one or more chases are playing at the same time, thus creating the show. To recall and play any of the nine chases, just tap on the corresponding button. The chase will run in the background and will take control of any lights that are part of said chase if the lights are off. If any of the lights that are part of a running chase are on, the chase releases control of these lights to the operator, but the chase keeps running. Any light can be turned on and off while a chase is running. If a light is part of more than one chase running at the same time, the lower chase number will take precedence and control said light, but it will not interfere with the rest. A hot cue is a special case. It is a chase that has only one step. All chases begin as hot cue until a second step is added. A hot cue is used to save and recall specific settings, but instead of running in the background, a hot cue releases control to the corresponding lights to the operator immediately after the recall. Let's see some user case examples where this can be applied. Case 1. Hot cues. Hot cues can be used to quickly recall follow spot locations like at the main entrance, a podium or stage or the center of the dance floor. The follow spotting lights could be off at the time of the recall or doing something else but when the corresponding hot cue button is tapped, the light will quickly aim to the safe location and the operator gains control of the aim with the joystick in real time. Case 2. Spotlighting. The moving heads can be used for different applications, even at the same event at different times. For example, they can be used for dancing effects and as follow spots for introductions, speeches, and special dances. But for the rest of the time, instead of being idle, they could be used for spotting interesting objects, 
such as a cake, a large picture, or a special table, floral arrangements, etc. To make the spotlighting more dramatic, the light could be spotting in a chase, switching between two or three objects back and forth. Even more dramatic would be to have a couple of lights spotting objects on different chases. For spotting is better when each chase controls only one light at the time. Case 3. Custom light shows. There are some applications in where a light show can just be made from random effects, but it requires a specific sequence of aims, colors, gobos and such. This is where multiple chases could be created for that purpose. Each chase could control one or more lights at the time, and the customized shows would become highly creative. The difference with the hotspot and the show is that the show will run in the background and the operator has no control over it, whereas in the hotspot recall, the controller will recall the state and will give the control to the operator. For example, let's say that I would like to save the spot at the center of the dance floor and I would like to save it on show 5. So I push show 5 for about 3 seconds making sure that there were no steps saved on it before and now that is a hot spot. So if I want to save, for example, the spots at the beginning of the catwalk, I can go down there and I can save that spot and I will save it on show 2. And then I can also save the spots at the main entrance and I could save that on show 1. So now let's say that the lights are off and I like to recall very quickly the spot to the center of the dance floor regaining control. I can just push show 5 and I can recall that at any time and it will always go back there quickly and release control to the operator. If then I have somebody coming through the main door, I can recall that very quickly and have control over it. For example, we're gonna use the, the light number one on pan tilt mode to spotlight a few different uh, objects and then we're gonna save them into a show so the light will automatically transition between them. So the first thing I, I do is I aim the spotlight to the cake and then I can save it in any of the shows. I will choose show number one. And I will save more than one step so that will become an actual show. And let's say that I also wanted to spotlight uh, the big table right next to the cake. So I set all my parameters. I can change the zoom, I can change the color. Let's say I want to have it illuminated at a color yellow. So I change the color, I can change the focus, I can change, uh, I can add a prism to it and make it rotate. And I will save that as step number two on my show number one. And then I'm going to save one more spot is for the chair next to the couches, but I don't want any prism on it. So I'll, I can aim to that chair and let's give it some different color, let's say green. And I will save that as step number three. So now that all these three steps are saved on show one, I have to shut the light off so show one can take over and show one will cycle through the different settings that we had. For this example, I'm going to make a specific show 
with the lights, instead of having them change effects randomly, I'm going to tell the lights exactly what to do. So I'll preset each light to be the way I want to, and I will save that step uh, on a different show than before. So we have show one for the spotlights, we have show two for the monogram, and I'm going to use show three to save different effects on both lights at the same time. I turn the line number two on so I can set it so if I want to change light number one I make light number one active so I can change it a little bit and if I want to tweak light number two I make light number two active that way I can tweak the effect once I have the effect I want I can save it and I will use show number three so I save the first step on show number three time so I'm gonna change line number one first I'm gonna make it aim to a different spot and I will save this controller state with the two lights on as a step number two on the show number three say that the next step I want to do is the chandelier being lit by both lights so I have two rainbow colors coming from two different angles making a really beautiful effect on the chandelier I'm gonna save that as step number three on the show number three and now say that I like to color the wall opposite to the control booth. And I'm going to save that as step number four on show number three. Okay, and, and you can keep going and do this uh, as many times as, as you want to, many different steps, many different effects. Uh, this is just uh, a good demonstration of what you can do. So in order to have the show running, I have to give, give up control of the lights by shutting them off. And once they're off, I can have the show number three take control over the lights and they will do their thing go cycle you know between the four steps one at a time right now we have the two lights being controlled by show number three but remember for show number one, I had the light number one to be a spot, a spotlight for the cake, a table, and a chair. And I had the light number two controlled by show number two to be a monogram projector. So if I have the show number three running, but at the same time I have the show number one on, then all the lights that are controlled by show number one, in this case light number one, are going to be controlled by show number one and the show number three is going to be controlling the rest of the lights. Right now the, the light number one, even though is controlled by shows number one and three, show number one takes precedence and it controls the light as a spotlight. If I turn show number one off, the light number one goes back to be controlled by show number three. Thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to watch the entire series to get a good grasp of all the potential and different possibilities for the moving head controller 2.0.